Awo Shalom Rastafari. This is our 21st uh, Torah portion reading and feeding. And this is called Ki Tissa. Ki Tissa. Now, while I'm showing you all this bling bling, you know, all this hip hop bling bling, is because it's very much connected with this particular Torah portion reading and feeding. Here's an interesting one right here. This is an interesting picture right here where it says, uh, Sky Zeus, or the so-called Jesus, the Jesus loves hip hop. There's your golden boy right there. See, that's your golden boy. That's the golden calf that they worship. You know, so we're in a very interesting portion of scripture, of Torah portion, reading and feeding. You know, here's these cartoon kings right here. You know, you know who all these people are. We're looking up hip hop bling bling, and so here's a very interesting page, a collection of various um, hip hop bling bling, which are just elements of the worship of the golden calf. You can see the golden calf right there. We did a video a couple of years ago, actually talking about, it, and that's what these niggas, Negroes worship. After all, we've been through just like the Israelites, that they would revert. To worshiping the golden calf and these are some elements of that worship of the golden calf right here which further proves who this lost sheep black folks so-called who they really are you see the serpent right here on the stick if you can overstand some can't overstand think about it think about it you'll get it you know so looking at some of this hip-hop bling bling it's a good uh visualization you understand uh, they said a picture uh, speaks a thousand words and here's a thousand pictures that basically just fulfill the living word there's the look at your golden calf there's your golden calf right there the golden boy everybody's golden boy and still there's some Negroes who believe that this is the son of God and not the son of Satan but be that as it may, we're going through some of these pictures right here. Just to give you a good kind of overview, look at this one here. He's even putting up the sign, the hand sign. You see the, the, the sign of the, what, the goat, the sign of the Antichrist, the sign of the devil, the sign of the Z. Anyway, be that as it may, just check out a couple more pictures right here of the worship of the golden calf. The worship of the golden calf. This is the 21st Torah portion, and we want to uh, begin it off by just touching on some of these um, modern images that are just proofs, more proofs positive of what the Torah, what the Scripture says, and why there's such a judgment on the black church, and there's more signs of this judgment which are to come. Just like you remember in this Torah portion, reading and feeding, that it was actually Haron or Aaron, you understand, Moses' brother. After all he'd been through, people were getting impatient. They were getting impatient with Moses while he was on the mountaintop, you understand, setting up their real future that they went backward, just like these Negroes have gone backward too. You understand, they say Kronk ain't dead, or the lost sheep are dead if Kronk ain't, you understand, but... So be it. We got some more pictures here to basically demonstrate and show. But we want to just conclude this with a couple of, I think this is the best image right here of the modern worship of the golden calf. Jesus loves hip-hop. Right? So stay tuned. We're going to get more into this Torah portion, reading and feeding. Um, Ki tissa, when you take. Right? When we continue. So shalom, rastafari.